What's going on everybody? This your boy Don. Welcome to the Donny Talk Show. If you don't know already, and we are back with another video. Today we gotta talk about Kevin Durant because it's something that I noticed on Twitter. Um again he was arguing with a fan about joining Golden State, you know, the usual. And I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there just kind of reading what Kevin Durant is saying, what the other dude is saying. Um, it's going to be on my channel, so by the time I post this video, um, I'm going to I'm gonna send the link to my channel. And if, if you scroll below all the retweets that I did, it's basically the entire argument. So you can check that out for yourself on the channel. Don Lasso is the name on Twitter, by the way, if you didn't know already. But yeah, basically, for Kevin Durant... He's not going to be able to have it both ways. You're either going to win or you're going to be respected. Unfortunately, in his case, no matter how much he wins, the respect will never really get there. And he's going to have to live with that. Kevin Rand is going to have to live with that forever. Um, it's going to be... It's, it's very, it's very interesting. Because in a lot of ways, what Kevin Rand did... Um, you can compare this a lot to, like, you know, our personal lives sometimes. Um, for example, how... You can have a lot of money and a lot of success, but people might not respect the way you got there. And you're saying, Don, what does it matter if people don't respect how you get the money and stuff like that? Well, think about it this way. If, if you were in some type of business and got your money the cheap way or an illegal way or just a route that people said, well, you know what? Yeah. You got rich, but you did it off of, of stealing from people, or you did it off stabbing people in the back. Yeah, you got money, but we can't respect you for it. You know, something along those lines for, yeah, KD, like, yeah, you winning and all that. Well, honestly, you was down 3-1. I mean, sorry, you was up 3-1. Had no reason to really lose, and you did. But nobody would have said that next year you couldn't have won. You feel me? So you joining you joining Golden State the following year, it kind of made it seem like, yeah, I guess you won. But look how you had to win. And I think that each had Kevin Durant because in the industry that he is in, um, respect is everything. Um, yeah, people might smile in your face and say, ah, champ, you're, you're the champ, you're such a good player. But deep down, people don't respect you. And that will that will burden him forever. That will, and until he maybe leaves Golden State one day, I and he ain't leaving off this team anytime soon. Until he leaves Golden State one day, and then forms his own team and wins, then. But you know the fact of the matter is, people want to say they want to compare it to LeBron and Miami. That Miami team was nowhere near as good as this Golden State team. Get real. Get real. The first year they, as in fact, the first year didn't they lose? So, you know what I mean? Just just, just think about that. You can't have it both ways if you're Kevin Durant. You're, you're not going to be able to. You're not going to be able to convince people that you are um, a champion and then get the respect of being the champion. Some people, And some people are going to be like, oh, it doesn't matter. Trust me, it does matter. Because if it didn't matter, if it didn't matter, Kevin Durant wouldn't be arguing with nobody. Still, he's, he's still, to this day, he's still coming on Twitter and trying to defend himself. You know what I mean? And that's just that. Uh, and it's not really on Russell Westbrook either because they would have won. They would have won the next year or the year after if you look at, at how the West was at the time. Now, you you can also say, that, well, what, what's Golden State supposed to do? Who who were they supposed to go after that year? Rudy Gay, um, I think, was available at the time. Um, there weren't at the time there weren't that many free agents available, but it was more it was more a choice by KD, you know. It was more a choice by KD. I just don't. I just don't see. I don't see what he's trying to argue, and a lot of ways. Um, there's there's life lessons in 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 this actually as well. Um, sometimes you might have an opportunity to become very successful or have a very lucrative job, but you might have to sacrifice family or you might have to sacrifice friends. You know, but yeah, you get the money, but a lot of the things that, you know, as, as human beings, you, you crave as well. You crave love, you, you crave attention, you crave 
um, being wanted as what the hell just something just jumped on me you know you you crave certain things and um, unfortunately for KD it's not really being fulfilled all the way like it, it's it's so weird because you you can be like Don like yeah he's winning though like isn't that what he wanted he wanted to win but he wanted to win while being respected and unfortunately the route he took respect was not part of that accolades were so that's why, um, for everybody that always wanted to hate on Charles Barkley for not winning, even though the era that he played was a lot tougher, I guarantee you Charles Barkley would have never, like if he, even though late in his career he kind of tried to form that super team, it still wasn't the same, and I guarantee you, most players in a position of power, they wouldn't do that because that's weak, that's called weakness, you know that it's it's just it's just so weak. It, it's so weak. It's so weak because, especially in this case, not just joining teams. Like who joins the team that beat that beat you? You know, even though you were winning. I don't know, man. I don't know. But what do you guys think, though? Is it just this? I'm just I'm just you know I'm just I'm just coming off the top of the head with this topic. As I'm thinking about it, yeah. Like if if you really think about this this way, um. He had the whole burner account fiasco, and still he's coming on here trying to defend himself. Why? I, I don't know. I, I I wouldn't be able to tell you why he's coming on here and arguing with people unless, unless it really bothers him. Because I guarantee you, you can treat LeBron James. You'll never hear from him. You'll never hear from LeBron. But you always hear from KD because deep down KD knows it doesn't mean... Like, the, that, this Golden State team, not, it looks like USA Basketball. This the USA basketball team would have a hard time playing against them. Believe me, they would have a hard time. USA basketball would have a hard time. This the current team. If the Warriors kept all their players, then this current Warriors team played against a team in USA basketball. USA basketball. It would be a very competitive game. USA basketball would probably win, of course, but I'm saying it would be just the just the fact alone that you, that you can damn near do that shows you what the Warriors have become. Hey, you know, and, and from their perspective, they don't care because they're winning championships. Uh, I guess that's what you want. But for especially for Kevin Durant, because he's not he was he wasn't really part of the beginning. You know, like Steph, Clay, and Draymond kind of like started it all, and we accept that because they were draft picks, and it wasn't working right off rip. So. We can respect that, but, but Kevin Durant, you know, his situation a little different. Always feeling it makes him it makes him look so insecure sometimes because where he is in his career, you don't really think he would have to answer to anybody. But then again, if you look back at the path that he took to really be successful, you'd be like, ah, yeah, it makes sense because I don't think he really gets the respect that he craves. The respect sometimes means more than the accolades, and I'm and I'm gonna leave you guys with that. What do you guys think about the respect? What would you guys actually know? Let me ask you this: What would you rather want? If you had to pick two choices, well, you have two choices. You can either be respected for the rest of your life, or you can get all the accolades. You can get all the accolades in the world. What would you choose? And think about that. Respect or accolades and trophies. Think about that because think about the longevity. Think about the longevity of 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 what you're asking for, or what you're choosing. You know, think about long long term. And I'm not saying that you should be picking respect because obviously I'm gonna pick respect, but. Think about it. What's more valuable 10 years from now, the respect of winning one or the accolades of winning four? And I'm going to leave y'all with that. Check out the Donnie Talks playlist below. Thank you guys again for the support. Carmelo Anthony is probably up next on my list that I wanted to talk about. Because, you know, that boy just made a major move. And why I think this is probably his last chance, even though we said that last season. It's your boy Don, and we are back with another video, and I'll see y'all next time, man. Leave like a 
10 likes and a million comments because we going to the top and I'm taking y'all with me. It's your boy Don and peace. I'm out.